Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at Theorem 5.43 if you're following the Watkins book. Um, we're going to be looking at similar matrices and we're going to show that if two matrices are similar, then they have the same eigenvalues. This is going to be a direct proof, so we're going to assume that the matrices are similar and then we're going to arrive to the conclusion that they have the same eigenvalues. Now, a bit of an outline of how we're going to go about this is as follows. First, we're going to one way to find out if two eigen if two matrices have the same eigenvalues is to look at their characteristic polynomials. Say I have the matrix A, and if I want to find its eigenvalues, I will look at the characteristic polynomial determinant of A minus lambda i and set that equal to zero, and that'll give me the eigenvalues of A. If I have another matrix B, and if I want to find the eigenvalues of B, I would have the determinant of B minus lambda i. You know, set that equal to zero, and then that will give you the, the, the eigenvalues of A. So we can find the eigenvalues of a matrix by looking at the characteristic polynomial determinant of A minus lambda i. This will this characteristic polynomial will give me the term, the eigenvalues of A. This one will give me the eigenvalues of B. So if I can somehow show that these are equal, then that will be the same as saying that the eigenvalues of A are equal to the eigenvalues of B because these Characteristic polynomials will give me the eigenvalues of A and B, respectively. So, to start off the proof, we're going to first off assume that um, two matrices are equal. So, let A and B be similar matrices. Then, by definition, if they are similar matrices, There exists a non singular a matrix matrix S that is non singular. Again, the non singular part is important because that means it's invertible, that means that the inverse of S exists. So there exists a matrix S that is non singular such that we have the following property a the matrix a times that matrix s is equal to the matrix s times b now that's important because we can manipulate this equation and obtain another form of it that's a little more useful and you probably already saw this earlier with similar matrices now we're going to rearrange this to get a much more useful form of it and that is we're going to multiply on the right on the on the left side by s inverse right s is non-singular so the inverse exists so s inverse times a times s is equal to s inverse times s times b now since we have s inverse times s then that goes to the identity so we're just left with b so b is equal to um, s inverse a s yeah, and we write this the other way. So B is equal to S inverse AS. So that's another form of showing that two matrices are similar if this property holds with a non-singular matrix S. And yeah, we're going to show that this is our goal. Remember, our goal is to show that, that the that the characteristic polynomial of A is equal to the characteristic polynomial of B. And that's going to get and that shows that they have the same eigenvalue. So where do we go from here? We start off by saying, well, Let's look at B, B minus lambda I. So that is the same as, again, B is over here. We can replace that with B now. So that's going to give us S inverse times matrix A times S minus lambda I. Right, all I did was substitute the matrix B. Now from here, we are going to We're going to rewrite S as S inverse, right? Because I is the same as S times S inverse times S. So we're going to rewrite that. I'm going to leave the left hand side as is for now. So work on the right hand side. And that's going to be minus lambda and S inverse S. Now I'm going to factor out the S inverse on the left side. 
and it's going to leave me with as minus lambda s. But I factor out the s inverse on the left. Now I'm going to factor out the s matrix on the right. So that's s inverse a minus lambda i. We need, some, we need a matrix to multiply that by. And we're going to get s on the right side. Now from here, we bring down the left hand side. So b minus lambda i. We're going to take the determinant on both sides. So determinant of b minus lambda i is equal to the determinant of these things here. Now, these two things are being multiplied. So we're going to take advantage of that property that says the determinant of AB is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. So here we have three items. So we're going to have the determinant of, um, let's see, S inverse times determinant of a minus lambda i times the determinant of s. Um, here, this is going to be just a real number. This is going to be a real number. It's going to be a real number. So since they're real numbers, you, they have the commutative properties. You can move them around. So we're going to move these around a bit. But so it's going to be determinant of a minus lambda i times determinant of s inverse times the determinant of s. Now, same reason as before, I'm going to apply it but in reverse. So instead of having two, I'm going to write them as one for the s inverses. So this is going to be now determinant of a minus lambda inverse and then here I'm going to bring both of those inside as I mentioned earlier. So determinant of s inverse times s. But on the, this, on the right hand side, again this stays the same, so determinant of a minus lambda i it's going to give us the determinant of the identity because s inverse times s is the identity and the determinant of the identity is just equal to one so this becomes a one so one times the determinant is just the determinant so we're going to bring the left hand side down so we're going to have determinant of b minus lambda i is equal to the determinant of a minus lambda i. And that was our goal. Our goal is to show that these two characteristic polynomials are equal to each other. If you go back up top, we have this, right? This was our goal. And we can see that we have that at the bottom now. Determinant of b minus lambda i is equal to the determinant of a minus lambda i. Um, this will give us the eigenvalues of b and this will give us the eigenvalues of a so they are equal to each other so the eigenvalues are equal and remember this is all started with us assuming that two matrices were similar a and b are similar and we concluded that they have the same characteristic polynomial therefore the same eigenvalue therefore this one is done and if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks